I'm so nervous. So, decided to start a YouTube channel. Me and India both started them at the same time, luckily. We just both wanted to start one for so long. We're just gonna do it just for the fun. Like, always watch videos and think, that looks fun. Like I wanna do 10,000 calorie challenge. I wanna do stuff like that, but you kind of have to have a YouTube channel to do it. You can't just randomly eat 10,000 calories in a day. It's a bit weird. But yeah, I want to be able to kind of film things with my friends, like funny videos. I always watch and think that would be really funny to do. So we both decided we'd kind of start our own channels, but at the same time, for our first video, do a video there where we're both in each other's videos, so it's not as stressful and scary. So for our video, we've decided we're going to do a best friend buys my pretty little thing outfits. So yesterday, we set ourselves a budget of, I think, £100, um, £30 for each outfit roughly and we order it to each other's houses so we don't know anything that's like in the bag i've got the bag here uh, we haven't opened it i'm kind of scared because india does a degree in fashion so that's kind of like her forte um i do a degree in drama and theater studies so not quite the same thing i mean i'm sure i could um edit this video with my new skills i've learned in my um of my 10 weeks at uni so far I've had. Uh, so yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm really scared for her to open my parcel because I tried. That I sent it to a couple of friends and I was like, does this look like something Indy would like? Because she's got really good fashion sense and I kind of just chuck things on. I just look at a model or I look at someone's Instagram thing and just buy it. I'm kind of guessing. I don't know if there's gonna be brown in here because in the days recently I've had bit of an obsession with chocolate brown i one thing about me is i get really obsessed with like colors or trends like i'm such a basic <laughs> and if i see a trend i just immediately like fall in love with it and then i just end up buying everything of it and then a few months later it's just out of fashion so recently i've been obsessed with chocolate brown and india was like you need to stop buying brown because it's gonna go out of fashion soon and my whole if i could show you my wardrobe it's all chocolate brown, so let's just hope it stays in for a little bit longer so I haven't just wasted all that money. It's like in summer, when there was like the neon trend last summer, and I literally brought so much neon, and neon and ginger does not mix well, so I don't know who I thought I was. I literally had neon everything. A few months later, I ran out of fashion, and then I had to get rid of all my neon stuff that I had fun wearing for a couple of months. Sorry, I went off a bit of a tangent there. So I don't know if she would have got me chocolate brown, Really, I don't know what is in the bag. She sent me three clips instructing me on each one, what goes with what, and then I'm going to try it all on after I film this bit. So I'm going to watch her clip and see what she wants me to wear it with. Okay, so for your chill outfit, I've picked some joggers that are blue in your bag and the racer top. If you don't like the top or if it doesn't fit, you could put like any crop top, any colour really that's going to go with blue with it. And then shoes, obviously just kind of trainers, or if you're at home, you could put slippers with it. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to open the bag. Ignore my, I don't know if you can see, but my nails are about four weeks thrown out. I got them literally the day before lockdown. So they're hanging in there, but by a thread. It's actually quite handy because I don't need scissors. I can just pierce it right now. So she said for the first one, this is for the chilled one, so blue joggers and racing at top. I'm guessing they're the blue joggers. Seeing everything else in the bag. I don't want to like pick up the wrong thing and then ruin the other outfit. So this is the race neck crop top. Put the bag there. So blue joggers and race neck crop top. I'm going to open it. I love blue. That's another obsession. Coming my new chocolate brown because I've ordered loads of blue stuff recently. Ooh, I love these. Okay, so it's this blue. And then it's got like a... That says down there. Oh, pretty little thing. Sorry, it's quite obvious. Um, I love them. They look comfy. I love joggers so much. I'm literally living in joggers at the moment. What else are we going to wear in a pandemic? I really love that shade of blue. And I actually really like the orange. Maybe the orange... Go with my hair. God, I keep rambling. I'm going to open the top. I love racing neck tops as well. I think they're really flattering. Ooh, yes, this is really nice. Why did I say it like that? This is really nice. <laughs> um, 
shape is so flattering. I'm kind of sad because I'm going to like all of this and then I'm not going to send any of it back and then I'm going to be poor. Um, because I have no money. Hey, so that's the first outfit. I really like that. I'm excited to try it on. Okay, this is the first outfit. You can't even see my head. I get a breath because I just went downstairs. It's got like the orange down here. Trainers on. I'll probably keep the top because it will go with literally everything in my wardrobe. This is a very like me outfit. Like I would wear this. Uni. Thumbs up for that outfit. Really like it. Okay, this one is... I'm nervous about this one. This one is the blue dress in your packet parcel and you could pair that with heels black heels perspex heels nude heels maybe even white like whatever you fancied with it and your little black shoulder bag i think would look cute with it too and also there's gold earrings so if you want to wear them with it try them if not any earrings that are going to go put them with it i move on to the next one okay so she said she's nervous about this one um, it's like the blue dress, I think I peeked it before because it's such a bright blue. I have this dress, like this pattern, in, I think it's a different, like, dress shape. But I have this pattern before and I wore it. And I literally love it. Let me see. Yeah, so I have it in, like, a, it's really cool. It's different dress style. It's kind of, um, I think it's called, like, cow's liquor when they have the bit coming down here. And it's more of like a flowy dress. I don't know the material. Really flowy, it's like mesh. This is more like cool. Like that one was quite mature, not mature. Less risque, I guess. A bit more boring. This one, you can see it's like midi, high neck, long sleeve, which is so good for England because it's freezing. I really like that, I'm actually really excited to try this on. And yeah, she knows I love blue as well. But I go through phases of blue because I feel like it comes in and out. This looks really cool. I'm really excited to try it on. I don't know if I ever said what categories. Categories we're doing is chilled. So one for like daytime, to wear like around the house or whatever. This next category is date night, even though neither of us have boyfriends. <laughs> whatever, like date night for when we get boyfriends, whatever that may be. Kind of not as intense as going out, but just chilled. Could be date night, like girls night. It could be going out for cocktails with girls. So it's not date night boyfriends because neither of us have boyfriends. And we're doing going out, so going out clubbing, obviously, when the clubs open, thanks, Bojo. So something quite dressy, which I think this is day night. Let me check. I didn't even check before I opened that, but that's the going out outfits. I don't know why I thought that was the day night one. But yeah, um, so it's going out outfits, so I definitely would wear this for club, especially because when they reopen, the queues are going to be ginormous going out it's gonna take what hours to get into the club so it's probably oh i don't know if it's gonna be cold when we're going out like it could be summer it could be whenever but anyway in england late at night it's always gonna be cold so the long sleeves are perfect in cues for going out so i don't actually thought about that but smart thinking there but yeah i feel like this is really just like cool i excited to try that on I don't know if I've just got like a super fat head, but this neck was really hard to get in my head. But this is the dress. I love this colour so much. It's just so bright. But yeah, this is the dress. I really, really love this. It's definitely like different, but I just love bright blue. And I feel like it's like super cool. The next one is date night. So for our non-existent dates... I'm gonna watch the video and what she wants me to kind of style with it. And your date night outfit is the chocolate coloured trousers. I paired it with a chocolate kind of colour top. If the colours don't go, you don't have to wear it. You could put it with like a black top or a white top, whatever you think. Or you have got other chocolate tops and whether the colours are better with that, then wear that. And again, any heels really, but maybe the perspex heels I would put with it. Okay, so I just watched it and oh, I've got it out of the bag. I did mention about my obsession for chocolate brown at the moment. So she she was like, I know you've got other chocolate brown tops you can wear with it. Just some chocolate brown. I know I'm gonna love it already because I just I'm obsessed with this colour. I have a race neck top. I think that's race neck. Kind of similar. It's, it feels really like thick material. It feels like that like scuba material. Yeah, I really I'm, I'm just obsessed with this colour. I don't know if it clashes with my hair or it's quite like tonal with my hair. I'm not really sure. 
being ginger is actually a struggle because there's not a lot of, of colours that you can suit. I say that and then I obviously mentioned about my obsession for neon which definitely didn't suit. But yeah, I definitely have to be a bit more basic with my clothing or like pick my colours wisely because I can't go out wearing orange because I will look like a giant orange. Giant tangerine. So these are the trousers. So they might be a different shade of brown but I feel like sometimes that doesn't even matter because a lot of people recently been wearing like, different tones of brown on each other and it actually looks really nice. Oh, I love this. God, I can't keep everything. I'm going to have no money. So nice. Oh, I didn't see that. That's so cool. It's so different as well. I, wouldn't, I don't think I'd pick these for myself because I'd be too scared to wear that. But I'm excited to try them on. They kind of stink of fish. I think hopefully that smell will go down or I can wash them. I'm excited to try these all on. Sorry, I'm just looking at my mirror I've got next to me. This is the date night outfit. Really, really like it. Um, I wouldn't usually go with these kind of um, trousers. They're like corset, like cause that, cause you have to really like suck it in. They're kind of making me out of breath. Um, but I love this top. So yeah, I do really, really like this outfit. And I think the different tones of brown like actually really complement each other. And then my hair's like a my hair's not brown dream on love but you know, it has brown tones in it um yeah i view it fully so yeah these are the bottoms um they're really nice as well but yeah they're they are quite like nice i really scared for her to open my parcel because oh i just don't know i don't know if she's gonna like it i got some stuff that was like kind of different but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um, please be kind we're both nervous to post this um yeah we both wanted to do this for so long and I just feel like what other time is there to do it? It's just a bit of light-hearted fun. I kind of feel like we're on FaceTime to each other, like opening the parcels. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, um, comment, share it if you can. And yes, yeah, sorry if you're cringing, but this is just fun and I'm cringing along with you. Sorry if I've been touching my hair loads, I feel like I do that so much without even realising. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching.